Stations of the Cross is a devotion that people follow throughout the year, but in a particular way during this season of Lent. Because we do not have the opportunity to pray it together as a community, um, Father Matthew McCarthy and myself um, decided to have it made available on our website. We've also provided a copy of our, our program, which you should see there as a, as a PDF document. So if you'd like to follow along with the program, you're welcome to do so as well. And so we begin, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to be grieved and agitated. Then he said to them, I am deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and stay awake with me. And going a little farther, he threw himself on the ground and prayed. My Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me, yet not what I want, but what you want. Jesus on the cross is dying, soon his body will be lying in the darkness of the tomb. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Again the high priest asked him, Are you the Messiah, the Son of the Blessed One? Jesus said, I am, and you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of the power and coming with the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his clothes and said, Why do we still need witnesses? You have heard his blasphemy. What is your decision? All of them condemned him as deserving death. I love you, my beloved Jesus, with my, with my whole, whole heart. heart. I, I repent, repent of having offended, offended you. you. Never, Never permit me to offend you again. again. Grant that, that I may love you always, and, and then do with me what you will. Let us pray. All-powerful and eternal God, for proclaiming the truth, your Son, Jesus Christ, is condemned to death by crucifixion. Stir up your love in our hearts, so that we might be ever faithful to all you have told us, and fear nothing more than the loss of your friendship through sin, through Christ our Lord. Amen. God's own Mother, purest maiden, Sees the sinless one sin laden, blessed fruit of blessed womb. The second station, Jesus carries his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Now it was the day of preparation for the Passover, and it was about noon. He said to the Jews, here is your king. They cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate asked them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, We have no king but the emperor. Then he handed him over to them to be crucified. So they took Jesus, and carrying the cross by himself, he went out to what is called the place of the skull, which in Hebrew is called Golgotha. I love you, my, my beloved, beloved Jesus, with, with my whole heart. heart. I, I repent of having offended you. Never, never permit me to offend you again. again. Grant that, that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Let us pray. Father in heaven, your Son Jesus Christ still carries his cross in his persecuted brothers and sisters throughout the world. 
open our hearts to help them as readily as we would help Jesus himself. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mary's heart for him is aching as she sees her son's heart breaking so that love may be revealed. The third station. Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. If the world hates you, be aware that it hated me before it hated you. If you belonged to the world, the world would love you as its own. Because you do not belong to the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the word that I said to you, servants are not greater than their master. If they persecute me, they will persecute you. If they kept my word, they will keep yours also. I love you, my beloved Jesus, with, with my, my whole heart. heart. I, I repent, repent of having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Let us pray. Loving Father, strengthen us in our baptismal resolutions by which we renounce sin and Satan. May we die with Christ to sin and rise with him to a new life of joyful service. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now at last her heart is feeling Sorrow sword her son's revealing Thoughts in many hearts concealed The fourth station Jesus meets his afflicted mother We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world and that is what the soldiers did. Meanwhile, standing near the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his own home. I love you, my beloved Jesus, with, with my, my whole heart. heart. I, I repent, repent of having offended, offended you. Never, never permit, permit me to offend you again. again. Grant that, that I may love you always, and then do with me what, what you will. Let us pray. Loving Father, as Mary stood at the foot of the cross, a sword of sorrow pre pierced her heart. May we who look upon the sufferings of your Son be filled with the same spirit of compassion and love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. How could pity not awaken for the Son of God forsaken in the lowliness of death? The fifth station. Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus to carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. After mocking him, they stripped him of the purple cloak and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him out to crucify him. They compelled a passerby who was coming in from the country to carry his cross, it was Simon of Cyrene, the father of Alexander and Rufus. Then they brought Jesus to the place called Golgotha, which means the place of a skull. I love you, my beloved Jesus, with, with my, my whole heart. heart. I, I repent, repent of having offended, offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. again. Grant that, that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Let us pray. Father, help us to see in the pain and suffering of our lives a share in the cross of Jesus, your Son. Strengthen and console us in the belief that we bear all things in union with him, 
who carries the burden of our guilt, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Who would not give consolation in this mother's desolation as he breathes his dying breath? The sixth station. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry and gave you food, or thirsty and gave you something to drink? And when was it that we saw you a stranger and welcomed you, or naked and gave you clothing? And when was it that we saw you sick or in prison and visited you? And the king will answer them, Truly, I tell you, just as you did it to one of the least of these who are members of my family, you did it to me. I love you, my beloved Jesus, with, with my, my whole heart. heart. I, I repent, repent of having, having offended, offended you. you. Never permit, permit me to offend, offend you again. again. Grant that, that I may love, love you always, and, and then, then do with me what you will. will. Let us pray. Almighty God, we feel your love and understanding in the consolation and support we receive from one another. Give us the courage and dedication to serve the least of our brothers and sisters, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mary's heart for him is bleeding, in his blood for sinners bleeding. God's new love, love is sealed. The seventh station. Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Surely he has borne our infirmities and carried our diseases. Yet we accounted him stricken, struck down by God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the punishment that made us whole, and by his bruises we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have all turned to our own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. I love you, my beloved Jesus, with, with my, my whole heart. heart. I repent, I repent of having offended, offended you. you. Never, Never permit, permit me, me to offend, offend you again. again. Grant that, that I may love you always, and then, then do with me what you will. will. Let us pray. Loving Father, your Son, Jesus Christ, shared in our weakness and accepted our guilt. May his strength shine through our human weakness and bring glory to your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. It is done, she hears him crying At the moment of his dying Death by death has now been sealed. The eighth station. Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. There was following Jesus a great crowd of people, and among them were some women who were bewailing and lamenting him. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. I love you, my beloved Jesus, with, with my, my whole heart. heart. I repent of having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Let us pray. Loving Father, with tears of pity, these women of Jerusalem responded to your son Jesus, bruised and beaten on the road to Calvary. Deepen our faith, so that we may see him in the suffering of our brothers and sisters. 
Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let me stand beside you sharing Grief for Jesus, my sins bearing On the cross of Calvary. The ninth station. Jesus falls a third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Save us, we beseech you, O Lord. O Lord, we beseech you, give us success. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. Bind the festal procession with branches up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will give thanks to you. You are my God, I will extol you. O give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. I love you, my beloved Jesus, with with my my whole heart. heart. I I repent repent of having offended offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that that I may may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, you permitted your Son to be weakened, crushed, and profaned, so that he might rise from the dead, freed from the ravages of sin. Help us to accept our weaknesses and failings as the foretaste and promise of our own glorious resurrection, Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let me stand beside you sharing Grief for Jesus my sins bearing On the cross of Calvary. The tenth station. Jesus is stripped of his clothes. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. They offered him wine to drink mixed with gall, but when he tasted it, he would not drink it. And when they had crucified him, they divided his clothes among themselves by casting lots. I love you, my beloved Jesus, with with my my whole heart. heart. I I repent repent of having offended offended you. Never Never permit permit me to offend you again. again. Grant Grant that that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Let us pray. Loving Father, stripped of everything, your Son Jesus Christ stood exposed to the jeers and contempt of the people he loved. Clothe us with genuine love of others, so that nothing we suffer may ever fill our hearts with hatred or bitterness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let me, though in humble fashion, share with you the bitter passion of the Son who brought to birth. The eleventh station. Jesus is crucified. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When they came to the place that is called the Skull, they crucified Jesus there with the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. I love you, my beloved Jesus, with with my whole heart. heart. I repent of having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we too must accept crucifixion if we are to rise with Jesus to new life. Help us to accept the sufferings that come each day, seeing in them the royal road to salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let me bear the wounds of Jesus. Drink the precious blood that frees us. 
glory only in his cross. The twelfth station. Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. It was now about noon, and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon, while the sun's light failed, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Then Jesus, crying with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last. Let us kneel and pray in silence. Let us stand and pray together in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let the cross be my salvation, Jesus' death my consolation, in that hour when I must die. The thirteenth station. Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. Instead, one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear, and at once blood and water came out. After these things, Joseph of Arimathea, who was a disciple of Jesus, though a secret one because of his fear of the Jews, asked Pilate to let him take away the body of Jesus. Pilate gave him permission, so he came and removed his body. I love you, my beloved Jesus, with, with my, my whole heart. heart. I, I repent, repent of having offended, offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Let us pray. Beloved Father, by his death on the cross, your Son, Jesus Christ, returned to you all that you had given him. Help us to give generously of ourselves, so that like him, we might be made perfect in a new resurrection, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Queen of heaven, by the merit of your Son, let me inherit joy with all the saints on high the fourteenth station jesus is laid in the tomb we adore you o christ and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world so joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his own new tomb which he had hewn in the rock he then rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb and went away. I love you, my beloved Jesus, with my whole heart. I, I repent, repent of having, having offended you. Never, never permit me to offend you again. again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, on the edge of sadness, when all seems lost, you restored to us the Savior we thought defeated and conquered. Help us to empty ourselves of self-concern, that we might see your hand in every failure 
and your victory in every defeat. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let me to your love be taken. Let my soul in death awaken to the joys of paradise. God, who by the precious blood of your only begotten Son did sanctify the standard of the cross, grant we beseech you that we who rejoice in the glory of the same holy cross may at all times and places rejoice in your protection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray for our Holy Father, the Pope. Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.